Okay guys, today I'm going to be counting down these 10 roller coasters I've done, both the best airtime. So what airtime is, is when you experience negative g-force, it's when you feel like you're floating out of your seat. There are two different kinds of airtime out there. There is floater airtime, which makes you feel like you're just kind of like floating out of your seat. And then there's the ejector airtime, which makes you feel like you're just getting ejected out of your seat. So these 10 roller coasters are... Well, in my opinion, have the best airtime. This is just from what I've written so far, so you won't see anything like Steel Vengeance, El Toro, Lightning Rod, Wildfire, um, whatever other coasters there are in Europe. <laughs> this is just of what I've done so far. <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of coughing here, here and there, but this is just of the top 10 coasters I've done with the best airtime. So, without further ado, let's get started. Coming at number 10. This is going to be a really strange one. This is Space Mountain at Magic Kingdom. Uh, no, a lot of people don't really talk about the airtime on Space Mountain that much. However, let me tell you, I think Space Mountain is some very great airtime. It's more ejector airtime, so you'll feel like you're getting ejected out of your seat. But the, the way the train is just configured is so bizarre. I mean, this is a classic attraction, so... I mean, rides were kind of weirder then than they are now. So, you can't get used to, like, you know, the modern, like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But, like, but like the lap bar doesn't even come down to your groin or anything. So, you have tons of room, and you just feel like you're getting ejected out of your seat. It is just awesome. That's what I love about Space Mountain, is the airtime. And, yes, it is a classic ride overall. So, yeah, I gotta give some love to Space Mountain. Okay, coming at number 9 is what I would consider to be the king of floater air. This is Intimidator at Carowinds. Yes, I do think this is the king of floater air, and I think it deserves that name. This coaster has tons of floater air, which is what I love about it. Like, I, like I'll like i say it again. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This coaster is meant to make you feel like you're floating over your seat, and it achieves that. Plus, it's just an awesome ride. It's very smooth as well. It's just an awesome ride. This ride is a little more graceful than intense, so don't expect a really aggressive ride when you go on Intimidator. I wouldn't call it very intense, but it's just so much fun. It's definitely one of my favorite coasters at Carowinds. And coming in number 8 is Small by the Pax 1 Heck of a Punch. This is White Lightning at Fun Spot Orlando. This is such a fun roller coaster. This thing has so much injector airtime. Ejector airtime is present throughout the entire ride on this coaster. This thing will make you feel like you're getting ejected out of your seat. You may get a little bit of floater in there, but it's really ejector. And plus, like, GCI just does such a great job with airtime. Plus, it's a very smooth ride. Very, very smooth. Probably, in my opinion, the smoothest wooden coaster I've ridden at the moment. It's just such a fun ride. You really feel like you're just flying throughout the entire course. It is just awesome. And coming at number seven is actually another wooden coaster. This is Mind Blower at the other Fun Spot Park in Kissimmee. The airtime in this is kind of similar to the airtime on White Lightning. However, the airtime in this is just a little bit more aggressive. You really feel a lot of ejector airtime present throughout the entire experience. <coughs> Even the Zero G-Roll has some airtime as well. Which is a which is really great, and yeah, it's just overall more aggressive than White Lightning, so that's kind of why I placed Mind Blower just one spot above White Lightning, but they're honestly both neck and neck. Okay, coming at number six is Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia. This BNM Hyper definitely had some pretty awesome airtime. Now this thing was kind of what I know some enthusiasts would call flowjector, which is kind of a mix between floater and ejector. Now, this thing, it's kind of like, you definitely feel like you're getting, you definitely feel like you're floating, but you're also feel like you're getting ejected too. That's one thing that Goliath has, which I think is really cool. So yeah, Goliath, you'll definitely feel like you're floating out of your seat for sure, and it's, and it definitely delivers that airtime that all the enthusiasts want. And plus, there's this one moment towards the end of the ride, which is just so funny. It's like this little. It's like these last two airtime hills. You feel like you you pushed into the restraint, and then right 
uh, right on the last hill, you'll feel like you'll push it, get pushed into your restraint again. I don't know how to describe it. And then you hit the brake run. It's just such a funny feeling. And it's just an awesome ride overall. So yeah, definitely highly recommended in my opinion. Okay guys, we are at the top five. What would I call the top five best coaches of the airtime? Coming at number five this is going to be a bit of a weird opinion to most enthusiasts. I know a lot of the GP would probably agree with me on this. This is Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket at Universal Studios. Which, as weird as it sounds, I think this coaster has some pretty sweet injector airtime. Oh, man. It's really, it's really just... Every time I've done Rocket, I have just been impressed by the airtime. This thing is mostly ejector. Mostly has ejector airtime. But there is some, like one or two moments of floater. It's really like, or I should say flow ejector. I wouldn't really say floater. I'd say more of flow ejector. It's really the non-inverting loopers, kind of like flow ejector. You feel like you're floating, but also getting ejected. But the rest of the rest of the coaster has ejector air. The moments where you experience airtime, it's really like, like as you're entering and exiting the big course break runs, which that's really the problem with the Rip Ride Rocket, is that there's so many big course break runs which really ruins the experience, but like, I think it's a fun ride overall. It's not too rough, I know a lot of people think it's a very rough ride, and I've, I'll admit for myself, I've had some rides of Rocket where it's just been incredibly rough, but most of the time it's just been, like, okay with smoothness. But we're not talking about smoothness here, we're talking about airtime. And, and the thing is, is that this coaster has some great airtime. Okay guys, coming at number four is... Superman Ride of Steel at Six Flags America. I was so impressed with this coaster. The main reason being is that the airtime. That was one of the things that, that just blew me away with Superman. The first hill is definitely floater air. You'll experience floater in the first hill. But then the rest of the hills, it's just non-stop ejector. <coughs> it's just unbelievable ejector and and I was honestly really surprised by it this is a fun ride and there's tons of ejector present throughout the entire coaster and yeah and there's even airtime during the drop which is one thing I was like what so yeah this is a coaster that just blew me away Intamin knocked it out of the park with this coaster okay guys we are at the top three and coming at number three is going to shock so many people. I know this is going to shock a ton of people watching this, but the airtime on this coaster just blew me away so much. Coming out number three is the Great American Scream Machine at Six Flags Over Georgia. Let me just tell you, oh my gosh, I literally thought I was going to die on this coaster. Like, I was literally like standing up. I'm like, what on earth is going on? Now, I wrote it when it had the buzz bar, so that probably, that's probably what had to do with that. I know they, I think, changed the restraints on Great American Screen Machine, so I'm pretty sure if I wrote it again, it wouldn't make this list. But when I wrote it, I just felt like I was going to like legit fly out of the coaster just because the airtime was so crazy. And that is one of the things that just blew me away with Great American Screen Machine when I wrote it in 2017. It was kind of rough overall, but... The airtime really made up for it. And coming at number two, this is just one of my all-time favorite coasters. This is Mako at SeaWorld Orlando. This has the best airtime of any b and I have ever experienced. This this coaster, yes, it's mostly flow ejector. Yes, but the airtime on this coaster is just unbelievable. And yeah, the moments where it's just like, really aggressive is really it's that speed hill like ha like halfway through right before the mid course break run there's a speed hill you get some serious ejector on that it is incredible and that drop has tons of airtime as well in that first airtime hill oh my gosh you it will leave you breathless now there's one hill where there's a trim but oh my gosh I've, i mean i've gotten used to that trim but like it's, this coaster is my favorite B&M Hyper just because of how incredible the airtime is. 
it's truly an incredible roller coaster. Alrighty, guys, we have made it to number one. Taking the lead at number one is a coaster that you probably know what it is. If you've been watching my channel since July of 2018, you know that Sky Rush at Hershey Park is has easily the best ear time of any coaster I've done. That's right, Sky Rush takes number one. And I know a lot of people will agree that this probably has some of the best airtime ever. And I I was so surprised. Like I I was expecting there to be an insane amount of airtime, and I was expecting for airtime to be insane. I was still surprised, and I was still in shock at the end of the ride. Like this thing is so insane. Like the airtime is so violent. Yes, it's ejector air. Like Oh my gosh, I only got one ride on it, but that one ride just blew my mind. I wish I could have done it in the back, but even, I rode it in the fourth row, and even in the fourth row, it was still insane. It was unbelievably crazy. And the, even the drop had just an insane amount of airtime. It literally felt like I was going, like, in a car crash. Like, it was that insane. And at the bottom of the drop, I literally thought I was going to black out. And then that first airtime hill, I'm just like, like, I rarely scream on a roller coaster. But I was actually screaming bloody murder during that first hill. Like, I'm just like, what is going on? Like, it was so crazy. And then the rest of the hills are just so insane. This thing is just unbelievable. And that is why I fell in love with Sky Rush when I wrote it in 2018. And that will do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment down below which 10 coasters do you think have the best airtime from what you've experienced so far. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and more countdowns in the future. Also, don't forget to check out the social media link, which will be in the description below. I will see you guys next time. Have a theme day.